Inside the Fox 59 studio, welcome to the Friday Night Fast Break. I'm Dave Griffiths, glad to have you along for the ride as we go through our final Fast Break of 2023. Time to run down what's on tap tonight. The end of December is tournament time in high school basketball. Plenty of invitational suit shootouts and the like. We've got a few championship games on tap tonight. Also, Indiana and Purdue wrap up non-conference play before the new year begins in Big Ten action. I'll announce the winner to last week's play of the game vote and peek ahead at the Colts Raiders Sunday showdown as well. All those stories plus Reggie Wayne is a finalist for the Pro Football Hall of Fame again. Could this be the year 87 is enshrined among the game's elite? We'll hear from Reg in about 20 minutes, but we fittingly begin with the top team in the state of Indiana, hosting their own invitational tournament. Fishers pushed their record to 10 and 0 with a semifinal victory earlier today, and that earned them a spot in tonight's championship game, taking on Chesterton, the state finalist two years ago. Taden Metzinger gets hot. His three from the wing is good, and then Metzinger in the corner. Chesterton taking a timeout, trying to gather themselves. But the Tigers, after being good from the outside, get physical inside. Keenan Gardner. Through contact, layup, plus the foul. Fisher starting to take control. Then John Anthony Hall off the dribble, past his man, and a trailing defender like that draws the foul there as well. Defense working well for Fisher's too as Chesterton takes off down the court, but Hall chasing him down with the block at the other end. 74-42, Fisher's victorious. Hoops on Indy's north side tonight for Buck. Taking on Evansville Memorial. The Braves press, wrecking havoc early. Evan Haywood forces the turnover and takes it in for the dunk. Later, the Buck doing it again. The turnover leads to the breakaway. Reese Butcher, the nasty one-handed hammer. Memorial hanging around, though. They have the lead at the time. Haywood finally puts the Braves on top. He led for Buff with 23 points, also 12 rebounds. And then it's Javon Brooks. Driving the baseline for the layup. Braves go up by double digits. They win 70 to 58. The Paul Logan Invitational at North Central is certainly one of our favorite events this time of year, honoring the Panthers' former athletics director who impacted so many lives in a positive way. On the court, NC taking on Evansville Rights, but it was the visitors striking first. Good backdoor cut from Evan Hayes. He gets the basket through the contact. Rights on the board. At the other end now, Tim Williams. With the crossover, creates his own shot and gets a friendly roll as well. You'd hope for the friendly roll in your own tournament. Come on now. Later on, Williams, long pass. Poppy Rivera there for the transition jumper. Give the Panthers two more. Wright's trying to hang around. The corner three is no good, but Braden Langley follows it. That's a putback slam. North Central kept knocking him down, though, when it mattered. This time, Nyjah Jewell pulls up and hits. North Central winners 63-55. Jeff Teague and the Pike Red Devils taking on Evansville Harrison, also at North Central, and digging themselves out of an early hole. Terenkio Davis gets down the floor in a hurry, finds Coriel Spates for three. Pike takes the lead. Harrison trying to take it back early in the fourth, working the baseline. Jay Summit with the jumper there. Both teams trading blows. This time Spates creates his own shot, gets in the lane a short little easy two points. Later on. Warriors double the ball, and they forget about the big freshman, Isaiah Hill, throwing it down with both hands. Davis picking up another assist. Harrison responds with a 10-0 run down the stretch, though, a 72-63 loss for the Red Devils of Pike tonight. More from the Paul Logan Invitational. Girls Hoops gets the evening slate this Friday. The Panthers taking on one of the state's best, second-ranked Hamilton Southeastern. North Central hanging around with the highly ranked Royals through the first half. We go to the second half. Gabrielle Burris for three at the top of the key. Knocks it down. That made it just a two-point ball game. How about North Central sticking with them? But then HSC turns it on. Maya McAlusky, she's going to Indiana next year. Certainly showed why tonight, helping to ignite a Royals run later. Check out the slick passing. Ends up in the hands of Kennedy Holman. The sophomore scores 26 points, only bettered by McAlusky. From long range again, she poured in 27. She got 55 in the two games of the Logan invite. HSC wins 69-61. In the sixth game of the day at North Central, it's Decatur Central and Carroll of Fort Wayne. DC, hot from outside to start. Cass McMasters for three. The Hawks get going, and they do not stop. Keep the triples coming. How about freshman, Havana Thompson? Swish for her. 
Gator Central building a solid lead. How about one from a little closer now? McMasters, beautiful pass to Soraya Gord, who finishes with the layup. And then back to the long range game. Kennedy Pasley Banks from deep in the corner. Hawks 10 three-pointers in the first half. They win 64-50.